But now here's one thing that I don't understand. I don't understand why. Oh, no, I do understand why. But it bothers bothers me that so many members of the media just don't like KD. And what I don't think they understand is the reason why he doesn't rock with them is because some of the stuff they say by him. So I was listening to The Herd today, and Colin had Rick Buecher on, and I want y'all to listen to a little piece, a little piece here, and I'm going to talk about it and let you know why, why I think Kevin Durant has issues with people in the media and my issues with him. I don't see Kevin wanting to be the face of the league. I don't think he's really that guy, and that's absolutely fine. That is absolutely, that, to me, it's like, why does he have to be the face of the league? Why can't he just be the best offensive player? Your thoughts. So just to set this up, Magic Johnson was saying that LeBron has one more year to be the face of the league, and then Kevin Durant will usurp him as the face of the league, which I can get behind that. I, I think that the NBA is getting closer to the NFL, and it's going to be more of a shield. It's going to be many faces of the league because, again, we have the off-brand finals here, man. A lot of these players are going to move up in their in their popularity because of the big stages that they're playing on, and, and LeBron is at home, and even Kevin Durant is at home. And one of these guys is going to win a ring who we didn't expect to win a ring, who hasn't won a ring yet, who's going to give a ring to a city who hasn't had a ring, who needs a ring. And their profiles are going to grow. And it's going to elevate their status. So more unlike the NBA has been where you where you usually have one face, two face, red face, blue face, you know what I mean? You're going to have multiple faces. It's going to be more like the shield. And I think that's great for the NBA because it garners more interest. Having these smaller markets, having these lesser known markets in the bigger games, it's just going to grow their profile and grow interest in the NBA. It calls it creating more parity, which is what fans say they want. But here's Rick Buecher's response to that. Yeah, no, I think that's that's fair. Honestly, my issue or my problem or the struggle is that I'm not sure exactly what Kevin Durant wants. And I am somewhat suspicious that Kevin Durant doesn't know exactly what he wants that he's still seeking that i don't know validation satisfaction gratification from from playing the game because he's had the opportunity to be the leading scorer in the league he's had the opportunity to be a big fish in a small pond he's had an opportunity to be a champion now he is leading the Brooklyn Nets and has basically has had the opportunity to form his own team and come close to running his own franchise. And yet there still seems to be this, uh, I don't know, difficulty in appreciating where he is and what he has and that he's still trying to prove something. So that... Okay, so look. This man just said... I don't understand what Kevin Durant wants to get out of basketball. And I asked, do you talk to him? I mean, you, Rick Buecher, covered the Golden State Warriors. He's pro- I, he's a Steph guy. He's a Steph homer. Um, do you, did you talk to Kevin Durant? Did you ask him what he wants to get out of basketball? Do you listen to his podcast? Have you read any of, read any of the books about him? Have you listened to any of the interviews? Kevin Durant wants to be as good at basketball as anybody can be. He wants to become as efficient of a scorer as anyone else can be. He wants to maximize what he can do in the game. So sorry, he's not satisfied because he's not where he wants to be. I can imagine as a member of the media, you want to grow a following so large. You want to have a platform so large. You want to understand the game better. You want to build more and more relationships So you're better at what you do. But when a player decides he wants to do that, it's a problem. Like, I just don't think he wants to be in the face of the league because he doesn't know. I don't think he knows what he wants out of bat. He, 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 He said it. He wants to be the best to ever do it. He wants to be a Mount Rushmore guy. 
And because he do, he's not getting the respect as a Mount Rushmore guy, or maybe he doesn't feel like he's been put on Mount Rushmore yet, he's going to do more and more so he can get on Mount Rushmore. I don't understand how that's a conversation piece. I don't understand how you have an issue with that. You want this man to be content where he's at? He has two rings. He wants more. He has one MVP. Maybe he wants more. He looks at his at, at his box score and goes, dang, man, I took three bad shots right there. If I can eliminate these three bad shots, that might be three assists. Or, you know what I mean, I can pump, I could have pump faked here, put it on the ground, got me a better shot there. Or I could have drove, got fouled, and now the shot, I don't have the shot there, but I get the two free throws. He's trying to perfect the game. Now, me, somebody from the outside who just consumes, you know, NBA media, I read some stuff, I listen to some podcasts, I can understand that, and I can accept that, and I actually love it. I don't want my superstars to be content, because when my superstars are content, they're Ben Simmons. And who wants a Ben Simmons? Because Philly don't want a Ben Simmons. I mean, all Ben Simmons is is a tall, is a, is a tall um, Markel Fultz, or a Rudy Gobert with a little agility and handles. But who wants that? Nobody. You want somebody who's dedicated to their craft, who's dedicated to the game. Like, why did he leave OKC? He didn't like the style of basketball. He felt like he could maximize himself and his game there. He went to Golden State, and he leveled up. He won championships, but he also played basketball at a higher level with higher-level basketball players. Then what? The Golden State thing, Golden State thing runs dry. You listen to him talk about it. You listen to Steve Kerr talk about it. Steve Kerr was like, that was one of the worst seasons. I enjoyed losing more than I did winning in KD in that last season. Well, I'm not wanted here. Cool. I'm leaving. And I want to go somewhere else and play with other high-level basketball players. Maybe a different style, but I want to play higher-level basketball. And what did he do? He unlocked another part of his game. Look at his game five. Look at his game seven. He's not coming off the court. He's playing his ass off, and he's doing everything. Offense, defense, scoring, dishing, rebounds, block shots. And y'all said KD couldn't do it. Y'all say if he got put in a role that LeBron is in, he couldn't do it. But guess what? He did it. And he was efficient. And he was damn good. And he was a damn half an inch, a big toe from going to the Eastern Conference Finals. With the broken James Harden and no Kyrie. And a coach that ain't ever heard of a timeout or a substitution. And Joe Harris who forgot how to shoot. But you're upset that I don't think he knows what he wants? No. He's just not what you want him to be. And that's your problem. That's the problem with so many people in the media. They want they want the athletes to fit in their mold. No, you cover what they do, not what you want them to be. You cover what you see. You don't, you don't make up something and say, okay, you got to fit in this for this to work. No. You don't, you don't, you are not the author of the story. You just retell it. You break it down and you package it up and make it simple. But it's not your original story. Like that, that like drove me wild. For someone to sit here and talk about he doesn't know what he wants to be in basketball. He doesn't know what he wants to get out of basketball. Maybe he just doesn't tell you what he wants to get out of basketball because he doesn't have to. And then you wonder why he's snarky with you, why he doesn't want to talk to you, why he has an attitude. Like, like that, that's why. Because you say just wild, outlandish stuff like that to millions of people, and people take that and run with it. They go, oh, yeah, KD can't be the face of the league because he doesn't know what he wants out of basketball. He doesn't know what he wants out of life. What, bro? Do you know what you want out of life? Do you know what you want out of your career? And, hey, does it even matter? 
Does it matter if KD doesn't know what he wants out of basketball? Because he's damn good at it. He's damn great at it. He's what a top 20 player all time already. Probably one of the top five, top three most gifted offensive players ever. And he doesn't know what he wants out of it. Let me tell you something. If I can amass a net a net worth of upwards of five hundred million, he'll be a billionaire by the time he gets out of the league. He, he's going to be one of the best players to ever do what he's done. One of the best people in his industry, and he walks away from it not knowing what he wanted from it. Let me walk. Let, let me let me walk away from from podcasting the same place. And I'll tell you, I didn't even know what I wanted out of podcasting, bro. I was just talking, bro. I was just talking to people like it. Yeah, I'll take that. That's just how stupid you sound. Just stupid. 